You know how to do the um the pics in some short videos. Just do pics behind the scenes. Make sure you can be like a promoter. <laughs> All right, we are back in the Rolling Strong Two Spirit Show, a special edition, a special time. Um, we got a next guest here. She is an actress. She is she has worn multiple hats in the, in the industry for over twenty years. She does commercial print, one way, model, brand ambassador. Was both was in the scenes and behind the scenes. She's been a casting director, production manager, entire career coach, executive event planner, celebrity manager. Danny Wolves on CBS, Mad Secretary, Nick Stroman for 10 times Comedy Central, and a lot of movies. She is a tired career, tired, career coach that has got tired in the right direction. This allows the time to tap the credible and real to work, etc. She has uh, alignment, strategizing the future talent endeavors as a cast director as well. She facilitates illustrated talent to go get booked for roles. She's been doing it for over 20 years. So let's love and love the arts. Let's welcome yes. Miss Dana Cowan. How are you doing this morning? Oh, I'm blessed. Thank you, LeVon, for having me here. I really appreciate this. Yeah, yes. thank you so much. How was, how was your week? Oh, my weekend. It was, ooh, the weekend was very interesting. Um, mm. Even though it was gloomy and cold out, um, mm. I still had some behind-the-scenes stuff to do as far as um, studying. Um, I am a brand ambassador <laughs> right. uh, for quite a few brands. Mm. So getting that all together. Together, it's pretty tedious because I got to keep everything aligned, all the brands accordingly, yes. and then I got to make sure what particular promo that I'm doing for them. Mm -hmm. Whether if I'm doing a ring, I got to make sure my hands are well manicured. Right. You know what I mean? So it was alignment as far as what outfits I'm going to put together, if we're going to be at the hotel, if we're going to be outdoor. So just strategizing that whole thing. Yes, yeah. Man. And then you connected to me last week with um, Melissa. Um, let's do that interview with her last yes. week. Yeah, so we are working together now. So yes, that's, that's one of the major things I love to do. Oh. So align yeah. entities together. Yeah, they yeah. just perfectly And And um, we spoke yesterday. She was trying. We are working. She's beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are working on bringing her, pro, her business to my at school program. How to teach the young people how to do jewelry and bread. Look at that. So we work on that right now. So um, she's yeah. interested. So... We trying to have a conversation, trying to get a clinic together. Cause I'm trying to bring different avenues mm -hmm. so the young people are trying to find where they niche at, yeah. and then they try to be people in the community that's already doing it and are doing oh, yeah. it well, and give them stuff that they wouldn't see at school every single day. Exactly. They, they want to see, for example, I'm trying to get yoga there, yoga there, yoga, mm -hmm. uh, fashion there. I'm trying to get uh, things that our kids need that I didn't have growing up, I didn't have growing high school. So. Exactly. So, so right now we have over 20 clubs in that school program right now, starting on Monday. So, um, like and right I'll see where we can fit in with that because I don't even know if you remember years ago, Caprice would go into the schools with vision boards and she actually oh, would love. facilitate, remember, yes. how to get that poster board and visualize. Um, because sometimes you may want to be a fashion designer, I like merchandising, that. I, 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 and she would, you know, bring um, some okay. material out, making, you know, set up a vision board. Yeah, let, let's talk about yeah. that because I feel our kids need that too. Mm -hmm. I feel our kids, especially the seniors, plan how to plan out their life, especially the juniors, seniors, are plan out their life, how to plan the next couple of years, and they see it, they can most likely achieve it. So right, because a lot of kids don't know where they're, they where they're going. Let's go, let's go on the rim. You know what I mean? It's, right. They, they try, try to survive the day, but. You and you'd be surprised because you can bring out their nap just by breaking out a few things or just ideas. Right, and plus they open up the get light bulb moments they can start to eat. So there you go. That was a good one. The light bulb moment. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so so let's talk about you. So who was Dana growing up? Dana was that kid that was bubbly, mm. that was always told to come over here, stand here, and I always had a crowd around me. Whether I was singing, I was always told that I was singing, dancing. Or had on heels, always modeling. Of course, I came from an entertainer, entertainment uh, family, mm -hmm. but yet I didn't know. My mom was more so on the culinary side of things. Oh, okay. So the entertainment world for her, you know, she didn't really, she wasn't interested in it because it was always bad talk about it, you mm. know. But she had no choice. <laughs> yeah, she had no choice, but I was bubbly. I was singing all day. Uh, my favorite singer was Denise Williams. Okay. I would blow her like crazy, like singing. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't take care of my voice because I was a smoker in my younger years. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, 
Yeah, so I so, always loved the arts. Right. I just couldn't figure out where I fit in. So wait, so what was that moment? Say, what you say you love the arts? Where did that moment in your life growing up that said, "This is my niche now. Arts is my thing." Where's that? Where, where that moment came come for you? That moment came when I was about six years old, when I just knew it. Okay. I said, I'm just that kid where I was always um, by myself and always inventing stuff. I would, I was making board games at six years old. Mm. I made a board game, Clan Around Town. I was drawing, I was doing graffiti already. I was writing raps. I was rapping back then. Okay. So I just knew it, I had to have that. So once I became like working age, I was never happy with work. Even though I could do it, I went to hair school, successfully did that. Mm -hmm. Street A's, always in accounting, I was good. I was good at nursing. I went to actually, got CNA certified. Mm -hmm. Wasn't enough for me, I wasn't happy. Mm. Yeah, so I, I knew it, I knew it. So I start modeling early. I start modeling at 15 and 16. 15. Okay. So, so, so you start modeling at 16, 15 and 16. How did that, how did that propel you to being a, an ambassador and a cast How did that modeling propel you to where you are now? How, what steps you took to get to that point? It allowed me to understand what failure was um, mm. and being comfortable with um, my skin, the color of it. Uh, the shape of my nose, the shape of my face. It wasn't typical. Back then when I was much younger, um, it was a pretty much cookie cutter right. uh, kind of thing we looked at. We didn't really look at ourselves. I didn't see myself a lot. It was only, um, who did I get to emulate? And always wish it was Beverly Peel. Okay. Remember her? Mm -hmm. um, um, it was... Uh, Beverly Johnson, Beverly you know, Johnson. the older ones, yeah. you know what I mean? Veronica Webb. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've met all these people. It was important for me to, to uh, meet these people. Okay, thank you. Then, then from there. Because they gave me these, they mentored me and, told, and told, taught me the ropes and told me everything. You're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. What they may like in you may not be what they like in another person, you mm -hmm. know? Don't ever change yourself. Don't right. ever, change yourself. you know, that plastic surgery, that whole thing. No, no, yeah, no. That's why I do everything holistically. Right. If I'm gonna change myself, I'm gonna tweak it to make myself much more vibrant and, and healthy, not, you know, fake. Yeah. Right, exactly. So, so, so yeah, you learn, you learn from the mental, yeah, mental Yeah, form. I learned those flaws. I learned that I'm not perfect. I learned that, you know, it, it was comfortable for me if somebody, if I audition for something and I didn't get it, it's not me personally. It's nothing within me personally. Right. But if you don't understand how that goes, it can affect your self-esteem. Mm-hmm. That's right. It affects your self-esteem. Yeah. I think that's so important that, you know, um, yeah. that you know what failure is, yeah. and that you rebound from it and get it back up. It's not in the world, but also be comfortable with your own skin. Like yeah. you said, you know, you be comfortable with your own skin. So, yeah, those no's mean go harder. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's, yeah. true. that's true. That's true. In fact, I love nose. Mm. Okay, so what made you go into like the role of brand ambassador? And I know you say you was a model, you did the model thing, but how did you get into brand 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 ambassador, and how did that how did that come about? Well, it was very interesting. Um, I could have I could have swore I had it when I was young. I was I'm the same exact size height that I was in high school um, but it was just something I don't know if it was the timing mm -hmm. you know because a lot of times timing's just not right here I was 17 18 but now that I'm 52 years old and they're mm. they're my DMs are blowing up to I'm looking for a manager mm. yeah I have a couple of prospects of course because they reach out to me um, but yeah, so I'm a celebrity manager okay. that now needs her own management. Yeah, because they're, yeah, I get solicited a lot. So they didn't want me then, now they want me now. Right. Which is interesting. Mm -hmm. But I look the same. Same size, I don't get it. Maybe timing matters. Right. But I'm glad I didn't give up on my dream and I love what I do. But it's really paying off. In fact, um, the brand ambassadorship has become like an income where I know it's there. Mm -hmm. Where it's there, 
you know what I mean? So the entertainment world, it's like, eh, you know, if you're not filming, if you're not doing anything, you know, if you don't do commercials, if you're not SAG and you're not getting residuals, you're not really getting anything. Right. So, you know what I mean? So what is a, so what is a brand ambassador and what is the day-to-day -day operation of a brand ambassador? It is, I think from what I see from outside, do they promote the brand for the company? So mm -hmm. what does that role entail? Oh, sure. I'll explain all that to you. Well, first and foremost, um, my daily routines is all included with my health. Right. It's exercise, it's diet, it's taking care of your skin, hair, mm -hmm. nails. It's beyond just putting on clothes mm -hmm. because I'm representing a company and I want to be able to look great, right. you know, in their clothes. So therefore I have to, you know, take care of myself mm -hmm. to um, support their brand. But how that works is, I am doing daily, um, I can do whether it's a story, um, it's videos, I can do a whole print ad, um, uh, videography, okay. you know, and so forth, and also posts that we get paid for. Mm. So it's a daily thing and it's continuous. Okay. So when you have it for multiple brands, it becomes busy, but when you have one brand, it's easy, you know what I mean? Because you can map it out, you can so forth, but um, I tell you, it's great because I do not pay for um, items. Items are shipped to me and they okay. usually send me um, at a time uh, 10 items and they allow me to pick the 10 items of my choice depending on the company. They'll do 20 items. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll go through their whole catalog, see what I like, um, and they'll go ahead and send those items to me. Okay. A lot of these companies, I don't pay for shipping. I've heard uh, models mm. and brand ambassadors um, indicate that they're also paying for shipping. Mm. I don't pay for anything. So I'm getting free items. And all you already know what you do is promote it. And I'm promoting their stuff. Okay. And top promoters and influencers, they then um, not only get huge incentives, but they also get um, those influencer trips mm -hmm. okay. where they get to go on. And it makes it life easier because now we have those beautiful backgrounds without having to pay for vacations on our own. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So I have an alignment where I have it set up with a bunch of, um, whether it's hotel, different um, cities, where brand ambassadors can go and pay no cost. Wow. Like where we can create and do things and content. You know, like Philly has like all those content right. places. Yeah. And brand ambassadors have their own facilitations where we can do this. So what's the, what's the, so, so what's the process? So if someone say, I, I want to be a brand ambassador, like, what was the process? Okay, what's the process for them being that? And then also, you say they do, they do posts and videos and mm -hmm. things. Also, they just say they get paid from it. How do they, right. how do they get paid from that? If so they, you get paid, you get paid uh, through your stories. Okay. Through your posts. I do funky things where I can get actual ads done. I don't know if you've seen my uh, one particular brand ambassador page, Dana Y underscore Cal. No, on, yeah, I actually do. I hire teams and we do like a, a whole entire marketing, marketing package. A lot of brand ambassadors, they just, and they take a picture of themselves and they post it. No, I actually do ads. That's what people don't realize. Mm -hmm. I tweak in these companies. They go, yes, that's what we want. She's really, really promoting us. Mm -hmm. She's beyond just a story and a picture. Why put an ad out there? Like she's doing real ads mm -hmm. and that's what we want. So yeah. And I just got announced I've been fashion over it's been um, behind the scenes and liking all my pictures for years. They finally made me a fashion over beat after all this time. So, so that's so, like a first step. So, so, what, so what is that? To brand ambassadorship with, um, with Fashion Over. They oh. make you a Fashion Over babe first before okay. you get to like their big deal. Okay. So uh, you, so, know, you so gotta what, crawl so, before you walk. Okay, so what are we doing? So we be doing that role before we get the big one? What are we doing to Fashion Over? We be doing that area. The same thing that I indicated where I'm taking, that, where, oh, where, where that's I emerged without taking pictures with months. Once I get, well now I'm a fashion over model, that's a whole different ball game. Mm. That's, that's a whole different ball game. But um, a lot of people don't realize also, there's contracts involved yes. too. And you have to make sure that you have someone that's professional enough to read over and understand the terminology and underwriting rules of this stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 we defined pregnant because yeah. sometimes they miss it. Oh. So I asked a few people and I said, you didn't get a contract? That means that they got one of those fraudulent companies that mm. just want to sell their clothes. You know, that's a scam. That is. Like if you and I have a brand, right. we can make somebody our brand ambassador. But it's on contract. They're just ordering clothes from us. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Right. They're just ordering clothes from us. And if their friends order, that's more orders. They're not getting paid. Right. Yeah. Mm. So it's a lot of scams to that too. A lot That's of people. True. Um. Yeah, because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I, I like to call myself the industry police. Right. Because I find a lot of errors and flaws that's going on in the industry. A lot of those. And that's on. a that's a huge one too. Yeah, a lot going on. People yeah. trying to get over people. Yeah, and like, they're keeping the people money. They're saying, "Hold." I, I'm trying to tell you, and I and I can't stress it anymore. I do not send any money. I make an order and stuff gets shipped to me for free. Wow. And I'm not paying shipping costs or paying for clothes. But what I do, they generate a discount code for my um, okay. for my followers. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's why I'm like, people need to like really, really pay attention. If you wanna if you wanna buy something inexpensive, they go to the malls and do that 20, 30, 40 percent off, 50 percent off. Why not support the system? Yeah. Where it's good merchandise, a lot of this stuff, if they just go through the websites, it's a lot of stuff. And I also have higher discounts, depending on if somebody DM me, say, hey, I see something. I have other discount codes where I can go, why don't you go ahead? I'll let you get 80% off. Mm-hmm. Just for, you know what I mean? One time, just so you can see what the clothes are like. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a bunch of them. I have um, one where I do, um, I have um, nails. Um, um, I just... Um, landed um loud lashes mm. so they're eyelashes um i have several jewelry several clothing brands um but my latest one is interesting mm. and that's for um a cosmetic surgery philadelphia cosmetic procedures mm. and that's an actual doctor where you can go in if you're a man and you're, you're balding you know how the men they get the scalps done yeah, yeah. and the, the hair you can get the hair if you have a tattoo that needs to be removed. Yeah, yeah. Laser removal. Yeah, laser um, removal. He does um, PDF treatment, PDO treatment, and that's what I um, did. I videoed it so everybody can see too. At some point, they're behind the scenes putting it together because I really wanted people to see that I had an actual jaw lift that's wow. non-surgical, and I had my eyes done. I'm not wearing makeup today, mm. and I refuse to wear makeup. Mm. In fact, I'm on a campaign right now for no makeup unless I have to work. Okay. Because I want to teach people to be comfortable with who yeah, you are. Yeah, but you understand. We do it for work. Why? Right, but we do it for just for you. Yeah, or do it for work purposes. But, but you'll fall into that face and you'll think you'll need that face to oh, wow. the door don't. all the time. No, you don't need yeah. it. You don't have I to. have no lashes on today. Mm-hmm. I have no foundation, no makeup. This is me. Right. Yeah. You gotta be comfortable in your own skin. Gotta be comfortable in your skin. Yeah, because yeah. It, because you so like get some point you get caught in the makeup mm-hmm. and then you could you become a, a character yourself yeah. instead of being yeah. being and you literally you may lose yourself in fit that person. Mm-hmm. Then you come to feel about the makeup, but you take it off all the makeup, all the lashes, then you look the man who who are you really? You yeah, know, it's supposed to enhance your beauty. And why it is to not, you know, make take over your whole yeah. procedure. But then changing the looks, and then all the women are looking alike, especially if they have the same hair do. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, there's my cousin. Well, they ain't her. That's just another girl with the same hair doing the same. They do the makeup the same, all that kind of stuff. So, what was, what was the moment like? You say you landed roles with CBS, Mad Secretary, Nick Schwartz, and Comedy Central. Oh. What was the first, what was that moment like to land a role on, that sh- on a show that's on network TV that people watch, you know, that gravitates to? What was that like, moment like for you? Well, that was in LA. Mm-hmm. Of course, all our real television, credible television work, of course, you know, you want to be a star. Wherever you want to be, you got to go to the habitat that produces that. Mm-hmm. We left Philly and we went to LA 2004 and we didn't come back because mm. um, we were we were working, we were landing roles. Um, that was interesting. That was actually Nick Swartz and Pretend Time. Caprice was hired for that oh, job. Wow. So I'm just momager at the time. Momager, yeah, momager. Yep. <laughs> you remember me? Yeah, momager. <laughs> yep. I was momager at the time and 
I'm on set with um, my then uh, Mills was a newborn. Mm -hmm. So I'm nursing him, everything. We're in the trailer, they're checking on us and everything, making sure we're good because I had a newborn. Um, and they're like, listen. And after they just stared at me for so long, the um, director, he says, how about if I get, because I'm tough when it comes to um, playing like numbers, all that yeah. kind of stuff, all that. I know everything. Um, he said, how do you feel about um, a tutor coming on set? I said, no, we don't need that tutor. I'll just keep that $500 budget. Mm -hmm. I homeschool Caprice. Right, 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 you see right. what I'm saying? Right. We got paid $500 because I know all the insides. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to tell you. So we got, she got paid that day and then we got 500 because we refused to have a, a stranger teacher. Right. Well, I'm the learner coach, right? But he says, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. He says, I'm talking about for your newborn. We're going to bring somebody on set for him. Just for a little bit. Oh, I said, why? Why? They said, because we need you on set, Dana. Oh, wow. wow. But that happens to me all the time. Mm -hmm. And I refuse it. Because I go, oh, I never uh, want to upstage my daughter. I mm -hmm. never want to. It's her. She was hired for this. Yes. But I asked her first. And they thought that was weird. I was like, Caprice, you okay with this? She was like, Mommy. That's was no voice. Mm -hmm. She was like, Mommy, sure. So I went ahead, um, I said, go ahead. They brought in the, the nanny, mm -hmm. the nanny for the day from Mills. She was ecstatic because he was all, oh, he's cute, blah, blah, blah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. They sent me right to wardrobe, put the traditional colors on that they do for us dark-skinned women, which is purple, lavender, got me all set up, makeup, my hair, mm -hmm. boop, 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 put the mic pack on and everything. Just as I'm going to set, I know how to ad lib all that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I'm built for this. I'm ready. Like, what y'all need? Where y'all need me at? Right. I see the most gorgeous woman walk by me, all set. I'm talking about she looked like um, Eva. You know, Eva Marcel. Eva Marcel, yeah. Mm -hmm. Walk by me. So I'm like, oh, she's on set too? I was like, no, she's just the one we replaced. And that's just how my jaws dropped, like, huh? Like, I was feeling like, that was my face, right? Mm -hmm. But inside, mm -hmm. I was like, you know what I mean? I was like, yeah. But inside, I was like, huh? Because that's my, that's my, that's not my sister. Like, yeah, yeah. where's she going? Where's my sister going? So basically, it didn't match. She didn't match. And that's what it all tells to. Just because she, you're gorgeous, just because you're ugly, it doesn't matter. It's what they want. Mm -hmm. And I was what they wanted a dark-skinned black woman to get put with this white man mm. because it was comedy. You get it? Right. A white man with a light-skinned woman wouldn't have made the same. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. wow. So it goes like that. It goes by what they want, what their vision is, and you can be, you can know all the lines to be the best. You can even show up at that job just like this lady did. Yeah. She was there. She was hired. She was booked. Mm, yeah. That's why I tell talent, don't share that stuff. Okay, you made the audition. You can leave it alone. We don't right. even need to know that. Right. We want to see you working and on that set because anything can change. Something can get filmed. You're in production. You can shoot the pilot. It ain't been picked up. It's not going anywhere. So right. you did all this stuff just for the gram. Right. So now I'm playing catch up mm. with the gram so I can kind of like show my audience. Wow. And it's about time I show my audience. Right. Like, did you know Caprice was even in that, um, what's that, the Saints of Newark? Yeah, oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, we were all in that. Mm. But we work because we know what we do. Everything doesn't go to our gram. We just love what we do. Love what we do. That's it. It's about, yep. the, about the passion. So yeah, we were all in that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you asked me what we've been in. We've been we've been I was, like on and, a lot of stuff, right? A lot so of stuff. even commercials. So you say you worked with celebrities before, of course. What was a big who, who has been the biggest celebrity? That you Christian worked? Slater. Oh, okay. Period. I mean, who's? I mean, you said like and yeah, that was it. Christian Slater. Mm. That's L.A. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, now, Philly? If you ask LA, yeah, yeah, yeah. In New York, oh my gosh, Yvette Brown. Oh! Yeah, we did um, Disney with her um, a show. Uh, um, all right, I'm going to, yeah, see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't say too much, but it was for, um, that was Disney Junior, right? Oh! Yeah, they were shooting a pilot. And okay. called, yeah, it was called The Big Fib. Oh! It was like a game show. Oh! Talk oh. show, remember? Oh yeah! yeah. And if that was the um, she was the host. She was the host. Okay. Yeah, of course. Anything that got to do with Disney, we were there. Uh -huh. We were set like they had us about four days. They paid us. Mm. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Because me and the kids were a part of. It. I like when we have productions where me and the kids. The families of all. Yeah, because yeah. we were always. Uh, that's how we started. Mm -hmm. A working family. So right. Everything we did exactly. commercials. We were on TV together. Then once we came uh, to Philly. Um, everybody got like separate and sporadic, and mm -hmm. Caprice went her way, and blah blah blah. Yeah. yeah. So, so can I come across before we wrap up? So, sure. What is next for you? Huh? What you mean? What's next for me? Yes. Besides the launching, the official launching of Dana's kids. Yeah, I got something big for that. Okay. Yeah, and I'll leave it like that. Okay. Besides <laughs> Dana's kids for sure. But I got um, um what? I got a lot going on. I definitely got to support my um support my um. My um my entertainment family got a film. So we got uh, Corrupted Minds. Okay. The actual final full movie is finally uh, premiering, and that's I, I asked you if you wanted to go to that's October the tenth. Okay. It's gonna be at 69th Street. Okay. The movie Talent and Grill. Well, oh, okay. What, okay. Let, no, if you let me know, I'll, be no, I'll, let, I'll let you know. Yeah. I'll be with Gutter uh, this evening. Wait, is that? 69th Street. No, 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 the movie. That name sounds familiar. The movie, what is it? Studio movie? Grill? Yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah, I know it's yeah. about. Okay. I love it because um, I always love the new theaters because you can yeah. eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can eat and have cocktails and stuff. Oh, okay. But I really want you to see this movie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because doing what you do. Yeah. Yeah. All right, definitely. Okay, I, I'm looking forward. What day is that again? That's October the 10th. Okay. I'm not sure which day because I got a bunch going on. It's um, um what else a Tuesday. Going? That's a Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll let you know. Oh, and I got the um, um we're doing um, I'm doing visuals with PGS Mills. You know of my um Mills, but that's my son. Yeah, that's his artistry name, PGS Mills. Okay. Yeah. Who gave you that name, PGS Mills? PG Spence. That is. Yeah. PG PG Spence gave him that. That stands for um, it's broken out of the uh, Philly Goat. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like Philly Goat Mills. Gosh, but he just cut his, working on his second mm -hmm. single, but he just um, cut his first one. And it was interesting because DJ Weird Nasty broke it in a club last night, and in the middle of the night, he sent it to me. And I thought that was dope. He played it at um, his and her lounge okay. last night, but he mixed it a little different. Right. Where it sounded, you know, like, you know, spiffy. I really liked it. That was cool. Okay. But he hasn't officially um, released it. But we're working on the visuals form and video. Okay. Yeah, it's like a, a old, remember um, the old school song, um, The Contours? Yes. The Contours? Yes. Dirty D. Do You Love Me? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. So, you know, the the, the movie um, Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing, yes. Right? You know that whole concept of the, the, the you know what I mean? The whole concept of yeah. right? Yes. That's what the visuals are going to be. Okay. Sort of, sort of, but that's the song we make okay. of um, Do You Love Me from the contours. But it's sped up. It's sped up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's dope. I'll let you hear it. It's All right, dope. congratulations on that. So, so you do a lot. You're a manager, you coach, you are a brand master. Talent career coach. So I'm constantly, they're DMing me, they're asking me, and I'm, yeah, and I'm, mm hmm. Yeah, so yeah. what do you do with self care? Self-care? Yes. You really want to know? <laughs> you do a lot, so I'm like, you need... Oh my gosh, so then this is going to really tell the real me. A lot of people don't know, like, the real Dana. <laughs> you know what I mean? They think they know Dana. Okay. I do yoga. I meditate. And I listen to sound frequencies. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I tap into um, the chakras. Okay, nice. Yeah. Like, you and just... that one that I'm mainly focusing mm -hmm. on, that chakra, is my wealth chakra. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
but right. it brings me peace yeah, 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 because I work in a, a world where a lot of world, laws. Lots. unfortunately a lot of entertainers I know something that they don't know mm -hmm. and the majority of entertainers are either bipolar have mental disorders mm -hmm. anxiety mm -hmm. yeah it's they a have lot. issues that's why the the arts is an outlet where they can pretend they can pretend. it fosters them it's like um, all the artists they're kind of weird yeah you know what I'm saying so what what advice would you give to the younger data oh the younger Dana girl you did exactly what you said you were going to do just why did you smoke oh mm. Yeah, I was singing like I was singing like Denise Williams when my daughter got that voice though, uh -huh. and my kids got it. So yeah, like, yeah you know. So my last question: Where are people can find more information about you and the, the film and the time career codes, the brand ambassador? Where people can find more information about that? Oh, my main page is um, Dana Cowan. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. It's Dana Cowan. Okay. It's Dana Cowan. Now, before I became Dana Cowan, I was Dana Robinson. And that's that actress girl, Dana Robinson. That's where all my credits are under Dana Robinson. Gosh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, all right, wonderful. Well, yeah. Miss Dana Cowan, uh, Ms. I love this platform. Yeah, I this honor to talk, talk to you. Um, yes. See you doing well. Your son's growing up and yes. Dana Capri's doing well. Um, yes. But what makes it a blessing is that you and I, we've we've communicated. Yeah. Over the years, I've known you for almost a decade oh, now. Yeah, <laughs> That's crazy, crazy right? Like, yeah, a lot of life think, happens like But this. a lot of people may think you, both myself and yourself, just get involved. Right. Just, we've been out here. We've been out here. Yeah. We've been out here. Yeah. But, Doing this know, thing. Yeah, right. we're watching we're it. Work, the kids evolving, oh, learning right. new things, new nuances, and a fans of blessing. And it's still in the purpose. COVID, still before purpose. COVID, I really appreciated seeing, we were really in these schools. We still are. But now, no, it's different. It's different now. It's much different. Before, we were really, really in the we, we was everywhere before. Yes. But then when, I loved then, it. Then after COVID, we was, it just happened. School kids are different now. And I yeah. administration is different now. So yeah. we still, our purpose, our work is still the same, but our work has evolved. But when I say we were in those schools, yeah, yes. they're not in these schools like we were in these schools. No. They're in these schools just to take these pictures to say they were in for these likes, schools. We doing for the likes. Right. We were really in these doing schools. The vibe, to try to get like making up little bags for these little girls whose parents don't talk about the menstrual cycles. Mm, they true. got bags and packs. Like we were really in these yes, schools. Yes. Like showing them hands on. You yeah. want to be a fashion designer? We were gluing materials and so putting I do so it. they show a vision okay. board how you present to college like you were really doing and, it. And then I said now going back four years later, we need to go back to that. Like showing the vision boards and showing how to do this because yeah. COVID took a lot of the mentally, like because the social aspects, the mental aspects, mental health aspects of life, like the, all, all the shoes going on. And like, now it's like we got to bring that stuff back. So yeah. any means that can increase to get involved. I'm, I'm down for it. Uh, that's, yes. a, that's a conversation. That's and a, um, shout out to Childhood Laws Foundation. Yes, Childhood Laws. Kyle, High five on that. How about that? Kyle Leaf. That's my Kyle team. Leaf. What? Keep, Keep it going. going. Keep it going. Um, yes. Oh, man. They do great work. That's who you got to bring in. And, and they bring are, them in. They are doing a um, 16. I already know. I'm going. Theater program. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think it's starting in November. It's on a program for young people. Um, they do like a film yeah. class. And for 16 weeks or already right? know I'm involved. You yeah. already know. <laughs> when it comes to our kids, what? Yes. They're, they're more than our future. Yeah, they the now generation. They're the now yes, generation. Yes, the now generation. Yeah, so I, I'm, That's I'm, my I'm, team. I'm, I love those guys. I, I'm there for them. I'm there for them. The feed that yeah. I've been there plays. I haven't been recently, but yeah. they started been had a messed up my time. But ever my, since my nephew um got murdered, um Caprice kind of got this, you know, yes. you know the yes. mental aspect and yes. healing. Yeah, that's so what I'm he kind of dropped, you know, she kind of fell out of the, you know, the mm. theater yeah. life. But she was always plugged in with them. But yeah. I get it. But she's she's ready back. to get back. Her yeah. she's much stronger upstairs. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So for those who are watching, please um go support Dana Cowan. She got the tablet. Put, put her name in Instagram. Pop right up. 
She oh, does great sure. work for the community. If you're a brand ambassador, actress, trying to get out here, trying to evolve yourself, trying to magnify yourself, that's just like kind of struggling, they need some help, need the truth, this is the person to go to. So, for sure. so I mean, if you want to enhance your game, enhance your, your skills, enhance whatever ever you try to get into, tap in, especially in the arts, and oh, some sure. history, get into that. Talk, talk, talk this Because everybody else, everybody you have mentee, communicated with, I kid you not, no one can tell me that they have not evolved. Yeah. My point, I just need it reciprocated back now. Right. So yeah, I'm that chick, but I need people to be that. So, so, <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah. so like I said, for those, thank you so much for being a guest on our show. Oh, thank you so, for the goals for our show. Enjoy the rest of Saturday. Enjoy the rest of that. For sure. Enjoy, take, get some peace, get some rest, enjoy yourself. We continue to be great. We'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Yes, many blessings. Yes.